Hi, my name is Ashish. This is the another video for Azure 70-533 specifying the Azure Active Directory. In this video, we'll see how to configure a SAML based single sign-on for an application with Azure Active Directory. Well, SAML based is the protocol specifically used for browser sign-on sign -on applications. It is used to enable single sign-on on the web browsers using this SAML protocol. With Azure Active Directory or any other uh, applications. So if you remember, we saw the different, uh, the tons of application that Azure offers in the enterprise application, how you can integrate that application for to use in your Azure Active Directory. Now we'll see how to configure the SAML based single sign on for the application within Azure Active Directory. Let me quickly log on to the portal and we'll get it from there. All right. So we logged on to the Azure portal. This is my Azure Active Directory. And this is my enterprise applications. You remember we inserted the uh, test GitHub application. So it was a name with github.com, but you can give your name. So I just specified the name as a test GitHub. So now you want to enable single sign on for your application. Go to here, click on application. Let's say I'm doing it for testgithub.com. Inside the application, it says single sign on on the left pan under manage. Click on single sign on. It says select a single sign on method linked or SAML. Rich in secure authentication to applications using the security assertion markup language protocol. I click on here. Okay. Test GitHub domains in URL. See, the value for the fields below are provided by this. So, it is the responsibility of the application vendor to provide you these uh, sign on URL, identifier, identity ID, and uh, if you will click on show advanced URL settings. So, sign on URL is the is the sign in page for this application that will perform the service provider initiated single sign on. So let let you have the application portal uh, on your uh, intranet side or the internet side that your company provides. You would host this application. User would click that application. So that is a sign in page. He would not he or she would not be asked uh, to enter the username and password. But there this is the sign in page for the application. So this would be provided the application vendor the identifier entity ID. This value must be unique across all applications in your uh, AD, Azure AD tenant. It should follow one of the patterns provided below the text box. So it is the identifier ID. The name and the organization or the wildcard, anything you want. Uh, reply URL. Reply URL would be is the where application expects to receive the authentication token. So uh, you, uh, uh, you I as a user clicked on that application on the sign in page that application would take the my authentication token to the URL uh, to the location where that application is hosted and would authenticate my ID with Azure AD okay so it would be as an assertion consumer service in SAML so the in protocol there is an ACS service it should follow one of the patterns provided below the text box so it is the responsibility of this URL to take my authentication to that application and then in turn contact Azure AD to authenticate my ID to give the access token for me to log on to this application then the real estate URL would be the SAML real estate. So this would be the uh, the token exactly a token instructs the application where to redirect the user after authentication is completed. So this real estate is a kind of token that would instruct the application or the page. Okay, this user has been authenticated. Now take him to this application. All of these things would be provided by your application vendor. 
so user identifier these is the uh, things that you can use generally it is the user dot user principal name view these are the thing that you can use you can use user dot given name you can use user dot uh, email you can use email address name okay and now it would also ask for the certificate you can use this certificate or you can create a new certificate if you will click here it will be using this algorithm right after doing that after you have done this and after you have tested this application then you would when this application would be shown under your enterprise applications here and when you will click on this application there on the left pan after configuring this application you would see users and groups so you will click add user here it will take you to the users of your azure ad i have three let's say i take john i say select i say assign so i have assigned this user to this application so that he or she can use this application after assigning this application you can go back to here here and then you can uh, after this application have been uh, done and you have tested this test application configure it, you configure it to use with the uh, azure ad right prex mansion do it then it will ask you to submit this application then you can if you go here you will see test saml settings so you will test those settings if you get an error it will also allow you to paste that error message in the uh, guidance uh, text box you can enter that get a resolution and then this is how you configure the single sign on for the enterprise application after adding those application to your azure ad i hope this was informative to you and i would like if you would like this video comment in this video subscribe to my channel so that it will motivate me to make more videos on the new interesting topics about cloud and share this video with your friends on each and every social media platform that you use and uh, till next time wait for the next video have a great day ahead bye bye